Hello friends, welcome to Hello English. My name is Rupam. Today I have another message for you and on that basis I am making this video. What does this message say? This message has been sent by Raj Rajeshwari. She says that I am good English lecturer in intermediate college. I speak not properly. I mixed Telugu and English combined my lesson. My main subject English. I learned PG in distance education. My English is not good. I want to learn English properly. Please help me. So my dear friends, you understood the message? I understood. Whatever Raj Rajeshwari wants to say, I understood. Because all the message was hiding in her words. Her English is not that good. She is a teacher and she wants to improve her English. What she can do? My dear friends, I am sure you also have similar type of problem and you want to overcome this problem. So I have come up with this wonderful video. In this video, I will tell you what you should do to improve your English, to improve your writing skill, to improve your listening, to improve your speaking, overall improvement. So please watch this video and I am sure you will gain a lot of information. But before I start, just want to tell you, I have started another English channel by the name Silbabu Shines. Lot of useful informations will be there in English. If you want, you can check it out. Link is given in the description. So now let's begin with today's video. Learning English can be a rewarding and enjoyable experience if you approach it with the right mindset and strategies. So I'm giving you some tips. Please follow this correctly. The first thing, immerse yourself in English. Surround yourself with English as much as possible. Watch English movies and TV shows. Listen to English music and podcast. Read English books and try to think in English. So what I mean to say is that when you are involved in learning English, you have to consider that everything around you is in English. You cannot waste your time in other language. You have to do everything in English, starting from reading a book, starting from listening something, communicate with someone, that also in English. So everything around you should be English. But everything's in English. So that it will get easy for you to start learning this language. Secondly, practice regularly. Consistent practice is the key to mastering any language. Set some time. Okay, every day make sure that 10 minutes or 15 minutes is your fixed time when you will just concentrate in English language. And you need to remember that you have to give equal importance to everything. Reading, writing, speaking, listening, watching also. Okay, all these things should be given equal importance. One day you just read something for 15 minutes. Next day, 15 minutes you write something. This is a wonderful way how you can start improving your language. Thirdly, start with the basics. Build a strong foundation by starting with basic vocabulary and grammar. What you can do? You have to first concentrate on the basics of grammar. You have to understand that in order for you to improve your English, in order for you to speak fluently and correctly or writing correctly, your grammar should be at least somehow good. You cannot compromise on that. So buy this book. Okay, this is a very useful book. You will get some useful lessons at the end of every chapter. You read the chapter and finish the practice paper. Try it out and also try to learn vocabulary. Every day make sure that you learn something new, some new phrases, some daily used phrases which will help you to improve your English. I will share with you a few phrases. Please note it down and practice regularly. Got it? Let's move on. Now once you are comfortable with the basics, so the points which I have shared till now are basics. Now once you are comfortable with that, move on to the next level. What you can do? 
use English learning apps and websites. There are many apps and websites available that can help you learn English, such as Duolingo, Bubble, Rosetta Stone, etc. This platform offers interactive lessons and exercises to improve your language skills. So you can do one thing if you don't have anyone to practice your English. You can subscribe to these websites and applications. What will happen when you interact with, pe with people? Your English will start becoming better. Your confidence level will improve and you will understand where you are making mistakes. This is a very big thing, very important thing. Unless you understand where you are making mistakes, you cannot improve. Because you don't know which is correct, which is wrong. So you should get guide. Someone should guide you to understand what is right and what is wrong. With this, we come to the next one. You need to find a practice partner. Practice speaking with native English speakers or other learners. You need to practice speaking with some good English speaker. Not necessary a native speaker. Someone who is good in English, you can approach that person and say, see, I'm learning English. Okay. And I may make mistake. Please don't feel bad. And please correct me whenever I'm making mistake. In this way, you will be able to improve your English. I can improve, Roy. Also, this will help improve your communication skills and boost your confidence in using English. Next, take English classes. I always tell you, my dear friends, in many videos I said, if possible, at least for three months, take up some course online or offline, go to some institute, English speaking institute. See, just for three months you will not become fluent. But when you enroll for some classes, what will happen is that you get the idea how English is spoken, how people talk in English. And you also get some material, study material, get that and you study at home. So when you enroll for the course, they can guide you, they can share feedback with you. And whenever you can, practice the same thing at home all by yourself. Next, be patient and persistent. Learning a new language takes time and effort. So be patient with yourself and keep practicing regularly. It's not like that. Tomorrow is Sunday. I will go out with my friends. Yes, obviously, you can always enjoy your life. But at the same time, take out some time for yourself. Okay, that you have to practice. That, that thing you should be, should be there in your mind. Okay, that should be there in your mind. And you should not be in a hurry. You will see that your friend is learning faster than you. That's okay. Everyone has their own way of learning. Everyone has their own pace of learning. So you need to have patience. You just have to focus that yes, at the end of this year, I will be able to speak or write in English without any problem. And also celebrate your progress along the way. Finally, practice speaking. Speaking is often one of the most challenging skills to develop in a new language. You may know how to read books. You may understand everything when listening. But you know where the challenge comes? Speaking. Speaking is the most difficult part, according to our mind. Because our mind is not ready to speak to people. We are okay with talking to people in our native language. But when it comes to second language or third language, a language which we are learning, basically, it takes a lot of time to train the mind. Once the mind gets trained, it becomes easy. So it's your responsibility to keep talking, to have conversations with others so that your mind gets the habit of speaking in English. So my dear friends, to all of you I'm saying, please keep practicing. You will shine one day. This is all for today's video. I will see you again.